Summary and Analysis of Book 2, Chapters 5 to 6 of Dune by Frank Herbert. Chapter 5, Summary. In Chapter 5 of Book 2 in Dune, we follow Paul and Jessica as they navigate their way through the challenges and dangers of the Arrakis Desert after their escape from the Harkonnen attack. After riding the storm in a damaged thopter, their situation goes from bad to worse when they land in the deep desert, a place fraught with dangers, not least of which are the colossal sandworms endemic to Arrakis. Utilizing his nascent hyper-awareness, Paul manages to land the thopter amidst the harsh desert conditions. However, their relative safety is short-lived as a sandworm consumes the thopter, forcing Paul and Jessica to flee toward the rocky terrain to evade the creature's path. As they traverse the difficult terrain at night, their decision to travel under the cover of darkness is a strategic one to avoid the heat and the predators of the desert. They face another peril when Jessica is caught in a slide of shifting sand. In a testament to their Bene Gesserit training and their adaptability, Paul digs out Jessica, who minimizes her oxygen needs by going into Bindu suspension, a controlled meditative state. Resourcefulness is displayed in their recovery of their buried supply pack. Paul's ingenuity shines through as he concocts a mixture of acid from his paracompass, spice, and water from his still suit to create a solution that helps them retrieve the pack from the sand. This episode not only showcases their survival skills, but also deepens the novel's exploration of the interplay between human ingenuity and the harsh yet wondrous natural world of Arrakis. Their ordeal also provides an opportunity for Paul and Jessica to observe an enormous worm nearby, prompting reflection on the power and majesty of nature and the relative insignificance of individual human achievements. Chapter six, summary. Chapter six shifts focus away from Paul and Jessica to Gurney Halleck, deepening the novel's explorations of loyalty, revenge, and the struggle for power on Arrakis. The chapter opens with an epigraph from Princess Irulan, reflecting on the softness that comes from living in a physical paradise like Caladan, contrasting the harshness required to survive on Arrakis. In this chapter, we find Gurney meeting with Steban Tuek, a smuggler and son of Esmar Tuek. Steban offers sanctuary to Gurney and his men, with the condition that they refrain from acting against the Harkonnens to preserve the precarious neutrality and business interests of the smugglers. Gurney, whose family was killed by Beast Raben, grapples with his desire for immediate revenge against the understanding that patience and strategy are essential for survival and eventual victory. This dialogue demonstrates the political complexities and fragile alliances that define life on Arrakis. Gurney's interactions with his men and his playing of a song on his balisette for a dying man showcase his leadership and the depth of the bonds that unite these survivors of Atreides' downfall. These moments serve as a counterpoint to the broader narrative of political intrigue and conflict, grounding the story in the personal experiences and loyalties of its characters. Analysis. Chapters five and six of Book Two in Dune effectively juxtapose the struggle for Mayhem. If this video was helpful to you, please help out the channel by hitting the like button and leaving a comment down below so I can continue to make videos like this one. Thanks for watching. This has been another Bookly Crash Course.